Let me show you one of my favorite views of using that Microsoft Outlook calendar really effectively. A lot of the people that we work with in their offices, when we start off, they'll have different ways that they want to see their calendar, they want to see their appointments. Up along the top of the toolbar there, you know, you've probably clicked around and you've seen that you can see a week view or a work week view. Sometimes even people will have the one day view. Here's probably my favorite view within Outlook. I'm going to move the mouse over to the right hand side of the screen and as it gets all the way over there that right hand border actually the cursor will turn into this two parallel line with a couple of arrows if you left click and hold you can drag that over I usually click it over two, two clicks you can see that right there so it moves over to one and then two when I let that go it gives me just a little bit more information and I'm going to concentrate on just a couple of areas. I'm going to concentrate over here in the yellow area, and then I'm going to concentrate up here in the white area. We'll talk about the task pad in another episode. So I go ahead and click on today. I'm recording this on May 14th. And that favorite viewer that I'm telling you about, I'm just going to hold the control key on the keyboard. So as you're listening to this, I'll stall for a minute if you want to look down at your keyboard. Usually the control key is down towards the left of the spacebar. But if I hold that control key down, I can click yesterday, May 13th, and tomorrow, May 15th. This three-day view is very effective for a lot of people. Personally, I'm always looking in here so that I see today in the middle, yesterday on the left, and tomorrow on the right. Now you can see there's a couple of different things I could do with this. I could go ahead and click on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then even Monday. So instead of having to worry about what I'm doing over the weekend with my personal life, now I can see, you know, as we start to get towards that Friday day, there's already a couple of things that I've got out on the radar there for Monday the 18th. Uh, I have worked with people who work in one office a few days a week, another office, and other days a week. So you could actually skip days. So I could do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that'd be a great way to be able to see that information right there. Um, and then the last thing that I'll show you, a couple of clients have asked, you know, Jason, I want to make weekly meetings with my team, but sometimes when we make the weekly meetings on a recurring schedule, we don't know until the last minute that someone's not available or something like that. So what I just did here was I just held down the control key and I went ahead and clicked on the next six Thursdays. So if I'm looking to meet with my team for the next six Thursdays, I can actually line those out and I can see where people are going to be, uh, what's going on in, in those different areas. So those are just a couple of things that I wanted to say about the Outlook calendar. Uh, stay tuned. More to come.